Hi, this is Superboo3. Um, today we are playing Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishments. And I know lots of you are thinking, why haven't you started Resonance of Fate yet? Um, simple answer, it's a very long game. I'm slightly intimidated as to how a comptroller will go on that. So I thought I would run through some shorter games first uh, to get a bit of practice in. I was also interested in this game. It came, uh, I actually had this ordered, um, I ended up cancelling the order because it just happened to come up on PlayStation Plus. Uh, but what I did hear about this game was when you do a case, um, regardless of what you choose, even if you're wrong, the game progresses. Now, um, I don't know if any of you have played Murdered Soul Suspect, but that was a, it was actually a, I, well, I thought it was a very fun game. It was just that it was incredibly easy, everything pointed you in the right direction and got you to. Uh, solve the crime. It was kind of irritating in that sense. Um, so this one sounds interesting to me. I think if you watch the Let's Play you can see my train of thought and um, if I'm doing different things to what you did uh, you might find that interesting too. Just you know I, I, th I think this is a much more interesting game than most in terms of that standpoint. So here's the intro, and we're going to be doing uh, the first case. I'm not really sure how this is going to uh, play out. Um, I know most of what I know about Sherlock Holmes is from TV programs uh, and the films with uh, Robert Downey Jr. Okay, that was weird. Um, being <laughs> Having like an intro and then it going straight to a loading screen. Um, but yeah, anyway, so I know I do know that Sherlock Holmes is quite the badass. He can fight with sword and cane. He's good at boxing. Uh, he's great with pistols. He's meant to be a marksman. And you know, hope, I wonder if those game elements are going to come into this at all. Oh, sorry, I don't. I didn't notice that the kid did me there. Oh, this is the PS3 version, just so you know. Holmes. I think I'm playing as well. Holmes, will you stop that? Oh, well, it looks like I'm just pointing at the place, which is where I'm running to. That's an uh, interesting opening. <gasps> okay. Stop, Holmes. Is that you, Watson? Yes, of course it is. And you almost killed me. Nonsense. I was aiming for the vases. Blindfolded? Watson, quiet please. I'm trying to concentrate. That's pretty good. Ah, Lestrade. What is it this time? He can see me. Well, here it is, and it's a good one, Mr. Holmes. A gentleman by the name of Peter Carey also known as Black Peter, has been murdered. A sailor, most probably. What happened here? Oh, Mr. Holmes, how could you? It's the only exercise I've had all week. A grateful client from Limoges sent me a vase collection this morning. I couldn't think of a better use for it. You're out of your mind. I missed four out of ten. Given you were blindfolded, that was very good. Can I have a try? Am I the only sane one here? <laughs> I suppose that Watson is right, Inspector. A little brain work would be preferable now. Do please tell us more about Black Peter. Peter Carey, born in 1845 and 50 years old. An ambitious sort, he achieved much success in seal and whale hunting around Scandinavia. Retired in 1884 with a small fortune. He invested his money in a property called Woodman's Lee near Forest Row in Sussex. 
It was where he lived for six years, and where he was found dead yesterday. Has the investigation already begun? Yes and no. In fact, this crime is so mysterious that I would prefer you to join me down there. Give me half an hour to prepare, Inspector. Take your time and join me there. I have to go through the yard first. The many men struck again. What have they done this time? They robbed a powder reserve. I'll meet you at Woodman's Lee, Mr. Holmes. I should help Mrs. Hudson here. I also have several appointments that I must keep this afternoon. I shall go alone then. Sherlock Holmes's voice is slightly free. Um. Oh, this just works as uh, objectives now. Where do I find my clothes? Oh, what a mess! What a terrible mess! That wasn't... This is where I keep my post. I actually Google this on Wikipedia and from how the room is, it's actually described as um, how is, uh, how Sherlock Holmes kept things, which is pretty cool. Consult with it if needed. I want my clothes. Where are my clothes? You go along to Peter Carey's house. Mrs. Hudson and I will take care of the mess you've made here. Okay, I guess I'll just use A map of London and the surrounding area. It could be useful. I cannot leave yet. I am not finished here. I do apologize. Yeah. That's thing. Why was his telescope looking in that direction? My analysis table. It is useful for my work. Oh, uh, you can skip. You can slip between uh, first person and third person by pressing archive. circle. I can always consult with it if needed. Oh, here's my bit. Oh right, yeah, I've always forgot about this. Holmes is a uh, master of disguise. I guess having the choice of items is why... Uh, sorry, so this is why we have got a choice. Um, but that's kind of cool that, you, that they actually put that. Um... Barely told. Don't need to do anything else here. I do wonder if this is going to be difficult. I'm guessing he's going to have um, abilities that will help you to actually notice things that you wouldn't normally. Have it, um, I was th I thought the two um, Robert Downey Jr. films were pretty good. I did expect them to probably be better though. I'm quite I do like Robert Downey Jr. but um I thought although some of the sequences were done brilliantly, I thought some of the speech was a bit too fast to really Mr. follow. Holmes, I'm over here. Come on. This isn't 
Oh, one pump. Are these my footprints? These footprints appear to be quite large. Not all a fan of his voice. This game. It's quite a cool way of doing this. Maybe we should actually talk to Lestrade first. Mr. Holmes? Very helpful. Yeah, I'm not a fan of these loading hoods, are pretty atrocious. Rad, when will you remove my husband's body? It's sacrilegious to leave him here like this. As soon as we can, Mrs. Carey, I assure you. Allow me to introduce you to Mr. Sherlock Holmes. He's a detective. No doubt you've heard of him. I'll wait for you in front of the cabin, Mr. Holmes. My condolences, Mrs. Carey. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. Huh? Okay, uh, I pressed the square button and apparently I can look at her face. This is such a... <laughs> this game's got some very weird mechanics. Okay, anything unusual. Madam, can you tell me if you saw or heard anything unusual upon the night of the murder? At two o'clock in the morning, I heard a terrible scream. But I thought nothing of it then. He would scream all the time when he was drunk. I don't trust her. Can you please tell me what occurred on the evening of the murder? Well, Peter got drunk in the evening. He was in such a terrible temper. Usually, whenever that happened, he'd stay all night drinking in his cabin before passing out. Do you remember at what time you found your husband's body? In the morning, at around seven o'clock. I noticed the cabin door was open, but I didn't go in to take a look, for I knew my husband would not have liked it. At around ten o'clock, I dared to glance in through the door and... Oh, dear... Was your husband accustomed to receiving visitors? Oh, no, I don't think so. I mean, he didn't really have many friends. We lived quite an isolated life here, after his retirement. You have indeed suffered a great loss, Mrs. Carey. Nevertheless, I believe it will be less of a burden for you soon. Yes. Life with Peter was never easy. But he was still my husband. He was different, wasn't he, when you first met him upon your return from Plymouth? Yes, Mr. Holmes. Oh, my goodness, but how do you know about that? Uh, I'm... Pilgrimage, I'm you undertook a pilgrimage to the Cathedral of Santiago de Compostela when you were young. That much is evident from the rosary in your hand. The shortest route for the pilgrim from England to Spain is from Plymouth. I believe that you met Peter Carey as a young sailor there, and you married him soon afterwards. That is indeed what happened, Mr. Holmes. How extraordinary. This is so badass. I like this. Thank you, madam. 
Who could do such a thing? My poor husband. Now let's go back to invest. But yeah, I, I, I like that in, that interview mechanic. I thought it was a pretty cool way of um, doing things. Admittedly, I do feel like a deer in the headlights as soon as I'm given uh, a question like that and, and forced to reveal the answer. But that also kind of means that you really have to look around before you do things. Otherwise, um, you're going to end up missing uh, the actual correct answer. Because if I hadn't actually seen the rosary, I'd been completely screwed then had to have said something very stupid. And things we do want to, well, undo this like Holmes. Um, yeah, there doesn't seem to be anything outside. Okay, so, oh no, wait, what's this? It seems that the garden was well maintained. It seems that the garden was well maintained. Peter Carey's body is inside the cabin. We took care not to touch anything. Oh, well, that's good. Mr. Holmes? I don't trust the presence of the uh, olden day. I think they've... I think this same... The thing door is locked. Wait just a moment, Mr. Holmes, and I'll open it. I locked it yesterday to ensure that no one should enter the cabin and tamper with the evidence. Ah, good thinking. Hello, hello, hello. What is it, Lestrade? It seems to me that someone has tried to force it, Mr. Holmes. Let me see. Yeah, okay. Scratches. These scratches are fresh. You're right. Someone tried to force open the door. I swear these scratches were not here yesterday. Our mysterious visitor came here last night. Well, he's not the man for the job. This lock is not a difficult one. Perhaps he did not have the right tool. I think the point, the reason I had to point out that the <laughs> scratches were fresh, because, fresh were because, um... Given that the victim was drunk, he would have just, uh, he could have just been missing the keyhole repeatedly. <laughs> That's kind of grim. What a terrible way to die. I think, through all my amazing observational skill, I believe that Peter Carey walked into the room and accidentally <laughs> um, impaled himself to the wall. That's elementary. Hey, so someone took a harpoon. For hunting whales. Maybe someone mistook him for a while. Hmm. The ship's logs of the sea unicorn for the years 1878 to 1884. Peter Carey was her captain. Nice touch at the... Hmm. The ship's logs of the sea the... unicorn for the years 1878 to 1884. Peter Carey was her captain. I think it's actually easy to investigate in first person, so I'm gonna... I always thought the name sperm whale was horrendous. The sperm whale. Probably from one of Peter Carey's catches. Every time I hear about whaling, I just think of uh, that Futurama thing with whalers on the moon. Dundee. Hammerfest. It's a whaling map. Yeah, I kind of guess that. With the giant picture of a whale on it. Did they literally rip out a whale's jaw? That is nasty. I'm not going to investigate the body in case that ends up trapping me in a cutscene which I can't um, 
get back to. I wonder if that means, am I done with that? Because it keeps on saying object of interest hmm. with a question mark. logs of the sea unicorn for the years 1878 to 1884. Peter Carey was her captain. Okay, let's just... I'm being extra thorough here. Peter Carey's boots, they look to be a size 8. I need to investigate the footprints outside for their size. Old navigation instruments, nothing interesting. Don't think size that would be considered that large. Let's see if he can compare them. These boots don't match the footprints. I'm glad that I actually figured that you could do that. <laughs> figured out you could do that. Um, now they felt like a right pleb. Is there nothing else in here? Oh. No. I, re I remember in the actual films he... Um, Sherlock Holmes has a the tendency sea unicorn. She was the ship that Peter um, to actually take evidence from the scene. I always did wonder if that was partly because he wanted to make sure he was the one to solve. Rum. A sailor's drink. Someone drank from this glass recently. It seems that Two Captain glasses. Carey was enjoying a drink before he met his death. Oh, that's cool. The initials PC have been crudely burned. A sailor's work. I don't think I've found anything. Tell me anything. Hmm. This aroma is familiar, but to recognize it, I must construct my associations in one picture. What? Okay, this could be more awful. Yep, yeah, I'm going with awful. Because I can't see how you'd possibly I'm guessing I can oh no ain't it no I'm seeing a ship and a pipe oh wait I have to move things I have no clue what I'm doing. I apologize. This might take a while. See, so that's part of a ship. Line those up. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to do other things. Like, do I need more items? Well, I know I'm trying to make a boat. Can't 
complicated bit trying to work out. There it goes. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think I might have this. This goes up. I could be on something. Everything just looks slightly off. <sighs> I... Oh wait, yes! This is a coarse tobacco, quite strong and very popular among sailors. I am aware that a lot of people would look at that and think, my god, that was so simple. Uh, what the hell are you doing? Um, so, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, so I think we'll finish investigating this crime scene and then I'll leave off uh, J H N are there. probably the initials of the owner of this notebook. Can we open the note? Why can't I open the note? These abbreviations mean something, but what? It's weird that there's a knife and a harpoon, but maybe. This blood is from the pool underneath the dead body. Oh, so it's not from actually stabbing him, so maybe he was holding this as defence. This wooden handle is plain and solid. Peter Carey tried to defend himself with this knife, but he did not succeed. See, totally called it. Alright, let's examine this. This man is in his fifties, yet he still looks quite strong. Those sea folk. Peter Carey was fully dressed. He was not caught by surprise. It is possible that he knew his murderer. Yeah, that's a odd one. Um, I don't think I'd have leapt to that conclusion. Peter Carey was impaled to the wall by a whaling harpoon. I think that's going to need a lot of strength to have actually managed to do that. Yeah, I won't, I'm going to make sure I've fully eaten. the body. The force of the blow was immense. All right, so I think fully investigated the room. Hmm. The ship's logs of the Sea Unicorn for the years 1878 to 1884. Maybe the coordinates, the numbers. So what's connected? I'm guessing that the breaking temps were to find the notebook. Make an ambush. An ambush must be to see if the break. Ha! Huh. Someone was here yesterday. They attempted to force the door to gain entry. Okay, I think I am going to... Let's hope I can say...
Oh, okay. Yeah. Anyway, so I fully investigate it. I think the game has saved. Uh, I'll just return to the main menu. Anyway, um, thank you for watching. Uh, I do hope this has been interesting. And we will continue with this case and hopefully crack it. Um, next time, any input or comments and who you think it is, I'd be very interested to hear in the comment section. Um, and let's see how um, different your opinions are to mine. Anyway, um, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.